name's Sarah and my role is Head of Welfare and Adoption, which encompasses really anything on the dog welfare side of things and the general management of the kennels. So Hope Rescue is mainly a stray dog charity. We started in 2005, mainly to try and assist with the number of dogs that were being unnecessarily destroyed in South Wales because they didn't have anywhere to go. Started as a coordinating rescue, really just saving dogs from the pound and sending them to other rescues. But we've built up over the the last 13 years to now have our own rescue centre where we take in stray dogs from five local authorities and make sure they're either safe in homes or safe going to new rescues. I started work here when we bought the centre, which was March last year. So prior to that, I'd been with another rescue for 15 years after I left university. Um, But this was sort of an exciting prospect for me that it was the first time Hope had ever bought a rescue centre. So I was really keen to be involved in something really almost starting from scratch. Being a stray dog charity, there's quite a few dogs that come in in quite poor condition. probably the worst for me are always the older ones i hate the thought that somebody has got rid of a a dog in their kind of later years after giving them so much loyalty so probably the saddest one for me was a jack russell terrier who we took in as a stray um i actually took her home because she really wasn't coping in here turned out that she was completely blind so last year we adopted out 207 dogs we took in over 800 but we still transfer quite a few because we're still relatively small we couldn't adopt them all out ourselves so we sent two thirds on to other rescues and we rehomed 207 ourselves that was up from about 140 the year before so we want to keep on growing every year really to make sure we're helping more and more dogs as we grow so then actually the two newest dogs that we've had in are two eight week old pug cross puppies that were apparently found as strays um a really odd situation because normally a dog like that would get quite a lot of um shares on social media if somebody had lost two puppies the best place to look if you're after any information about us is on our website www.hoperescue.org.uk there's all the dogs we have on there for adoption there's all information about volunteering about where we started you can also find information about our charity shop we're not an open center for visiting but once you filled in our form online then we can invite you to come down to the center and meet some of the dogs